Hello YouTube, it is a hot one in the Midwest. It hit almost 90 today. Last day of September and we're full step storms. Okay, this is where I bought this from even though I used Amazon. I got stuff blowing all over. I got my fan on. It is 95 degrees in this shop and it's 85 outside right now. There's that info, okay? And this is what brand it is. Here's your instructions. You want to pause that and see how they work. If you're not used to what a clutch, you got. I'll show you the weights fly out. If you've never seen a centrifugal clutch, this is what brand it is. Now there's different brands out there. I picked this for a reason. I just trust this brand over another brand. I see another company because I just say I, I like this one. Uh, heavy duty. Now people get kind of. Uh, worried because it says there's no warning on this thing. Well, there's a reason for it. That's just a set screw that goes in here. Okay, now you read the instructions. They tell you you have to put a washer and a bolt out on the crankshaft so nothing flies apart. Wind's blowing everything out there. Okay, this is a centrifugal belt clutch. Will fit A or B size belts, which is half inch or five inch. They also tell you to oil as frequently. So I'm going to take this spiral type snap ring off and put some oil on this so it's oil before I use it. It has a built-in key. See that? So I thought it'd be interesting to show you that because I've never noticed that before in any clutch. Okay, how these work, here's your springs. They look like kind of like a piece of pipe. Real quick the explanation. They pull, they fly out. Centrifugal force makes the weights fly out, grabs. So this is on the motor spinning. They fly out and it grabs this cover right here. Okay. That starts turning the thing. Okay, I got this to fit my eight horse Honda motor because we're going to try to cram it in that little 70 garden tractor. Trying to swat a fly. We're going to try to cram it in there because the transaxle on that has a pulley over here, okay? Just like the 112 to the transaxle and it goes backwards so it goes like this not like a go-kart okay so your engine has set this way with the crankshaft on this side so it's like backwards in my John Deere 112 we're gonna try to cram it in there because the vertical motor they have the belt that twists goes to a set of pulleys right here you know that so I may take some pictures when I get that thing out but I want a belt drive, no chain drive. It's easier and cheaper for me to buy a belt, make idlers, tensioners, uh, and stuff like that. You know, spring tensioners for the belt. The belt's a little too long uh, for custom making stuff. I want a belt drive. Well, this has like a stall of 1,800 RPM. So we're going to be revving up a little bit before it takes off. But there you go. Just a quick view of this. So there's a video out there on this. So hopefully when the project gets going, uh, it could be till next spring before I do it. But I am going to start getting it this fall. So you'll see some pictures of me getting the frame. There's that whistle. Let me pause. Oh, okay, it's about done enough. We'll put her back in the box. It'll be put in a secure place. Uh, this is like $100 shipped. $89. I mean, not bragging what I spend just to forewarn you. Don't be shocked. 90 bucks for this sucker. Like I said, you get the instructions, warning, blah, blah, blah. It, it even tells you make sure to use a washer. Even right in there, so use the washer big enough, like I said, to cover that whole snout. If you have it out this way, so nothing can fly apart here. Don't, don't cover that up. So you want a big washer on here. So nothing flies apart, the snap ring comes off. And believe me, when I was a kid, I'd explode clutches on mini bikes and it would just be gone and chains flying off and everything. Uh, I suppose if you had it this way, you're going to be safer, right? I'd still make sure I have a washer that covers the outside of this, but one more quick view of that. I'll snap a couple photos, and thanks for watching. Sorry this is a super fast quick one, but it's hot out here. We're going back to the AC.